What's going on with your rear tail lights on your Harley Davidson M8 soft tail? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well in these testing times. So this video is all about the rear tail lights on your Harley Davidson M8, uh, either the soft tail or the Tora. Now I got an interesting uh, email from uh, Rob from Alberta in Canada. And basically he was having a few issues with his rear tail lights and basically when he was uh, putting on the indicator the turn indicator left or right and then applying the brake the rear tail light went out now so he wasn't uh, sure what was going on also there was a high flashing rate uh, on the uh, rear tail lights what he also later said was that he he put a led install on the front indicators as well and what seems to have happened is that the the resynchronization of the bcm didn't quite work properly so he basically had to redo it afterwards and it stopped that high flashing rate However, uh, the rear tail lights were still going out. Now, on his in particular, his lights seem to be slightly different to the ones that I've got here in the UK. Same motorcycle, same model, same model year, I believe. But the rear tail lights are slightly different uh, in that the uh, LED pattern seems to be slightly different. And also he's removed the, uh, the lens cap uh, and he says there's a little indentation where you can remove them however on mine there isn't there's a completely sealed unit however that shouldn't mean anything really in terms of the way the led operates okay so we kind of had a bit of backwards and forwards of what might be causing it but i also suggested actually it could just be that uh, this is a United States, North America, Canada issue and that when you put the turn indicator on the, the tail lights uh, don't work or the brake light doesn't work and that could be the case. Now here in the UK, let's say if you watch my video here just now, when I apply the brakes that all the lights still work. When I turn on the indicator all the lights still work. However in other parts of the world there might be slightly different lighting configurations and setups as well. So this video really is all about actually uh, if you've got a, a motorcycle uh, that has got a high flashing rate or abnormal flashing rate on your indicators and you've done a recent LED install then the chances are it just needs to be resynchronized. So what you do just turn on the ignition switch there you put on the hazard warning lights and let it do its thing for about a couple two or three minutes. If it isn't working after two or three minutes, then revert back to your original bulbs that you've uh, that you've uh, taken out, and then go back to stock, as it were. Let it resynchronize, and then try and put the LEDs back in again, and then try and resynchronize it. If it's still the same then before going down the route of taking it to the Harley dealership and trying to have the BCM investigated or reflashed uh, the ECM or something like that, actually what you need to do is maybe get another set of LED uh, lights for your indicators and see if you've just got a duff set that is causing a problem with your bike. Remember, if you're gonna get another set of LEDs for your Harley Davidson with the M8 engine, you need to make sure that they are CAN bus ready. If they're not CAN bus ready, then they may not uh, work properly and that might be causing issues as well. So that might be causing the synchronizing issues, the high flash rate, uh, all these kinds of issues. So make sure that the LEDs are correct, they're functioning correctly, and also that your bike or your BCM is letting it all synchronize properly. Worst case scenario, you're gonna need to have your BCM interrogated by a dealership on their uh, digital technician too, just to see if there's any problems with that. Okay, so the other thing here is, as Rob found, that his uh, tail lights, his brake lights, uh, weren't working when he put on his uh, turn indicator. As I say, you know, one light was slightly uh, brighter than the other one. They're still working, uh, but as I say, it could be a regional thing. Now, why is this relevant to myself or to anybody else who doesn't actually live in the United States? Uh, well, it really depends 
in the future let's say 10 15 years from now if you decide to buy a motorcycle like this but it ends up being an import you might find that that motorcycle has been set obviously to a regional setting um, by the manufacturer as it was going to be sold in north america so you may have to have it reset or the bcm reconfigured uh, for riding in the uk as well so that's just something to bear in mind down the road in about 10 15 years time if you ever bought something like that if you're currently riding one of these outside of the united states and this is happening this is a reason basically one of these bikes has filtered through and uh, it was supposed to be for the american market but actually it's come to the european market let's say or another market around the world and your lights are configured uh for the united states or canada so basically you just need to go to a dealership or to anybody who can interrogate the bcm and have it trying to swapped over uh to the market in which you are riding as well now there are other ways of controlling the flash rate of your uh, indicators of course in the old days we'd have load resistors put in as well but really that shouldn't be necessary here because the bcm will control everything as well it just needs to be reprogrammed as it were for the market in which you're riding anyway i hope you found that useful it was a really interesting email from rob and uh it got the old gray matter thinking there wondering what was going on and then he kindly sent me a video as well to see what was going on and i kind of thought yeah this actually looks like it's a regional thing rather than a problem with the uh bike itself now obviously as i say if you got uh, different uh, brightness LEDs on left to right then obviously check all your connectors check uh, there's no moisture got into the connectors all that kind of stuff you need to troubleshoot why one side might be uh, more brighter or less brighter than uh, the uh, the other side if one side isn't working obviously check all the continuity of the wiring and once you've eliminated all that then really you need to look at the bcm as well so that's something that you may need to take it to a dealership for them to investigate why your lights aren't working or they might not be working properly anyway say so i hope you found that useful it was a really interesting uh email i thought and it really just shows the differences between different markets and how you can be led in one direction but actually for us it might be a problem but actually for somebody in the united states or canada this is perfectly normal and that's the way it should be don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelatoralf.com content creator course there lots of tech videos on the rev 2000 members area and i catch you again on another video Ta -da.